Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to a new episode of Leveraging Real Estate for Freedom. This is where we teach you how to build your own real estate empire. You know that I'm an advocate for multiple strategies that stacked into one investment. Okay, so for example, behind us, we purchased this property for short-term rental purposes. However, we stacked on top development potential so that we can realize the true value and the true value add of this asset. Recently, I received a letter from the city of Sacramento informing me that I have been violating the city code. Okay, what is the city code? Basically, they're limiting short-term rental properties to only allow six renters at a time. How are we supposed to compete? And what does that mean for our Airbnb exactly? That severely limits us to our ability to really capitalize the short-term rental aspect of this property. And then now we have to heavily rely on the development side to really realize any profit, right? Because short-term rental, I mean, if it's only renting six people, we have a lot more competitors at a way lower price point. I'm not going to rent out this property for $100 a night. Does that make sense? And so I think the city, when they came up with this ordinance or this code, they were only thinking about smaller short-term rental properties and that they did not consider these bigger Airbnb properties themselves. This is absolutely negatively affecting our ability to capitalize on this asset as our short-term rental property because we're not able to maximize the amount of people who can stay here. In five bedrooms, you think about if two adults stay in each bedroom, that's already 10 people. However, they're limiting this to six people, including children and infants. So which means that in reality, only about four to five adults can stay here if they have a child. So that limits our ability to maximize profit. At the same time, it brings us to compete with smaller properties. So for example, if a property only have two bedrooms or three bedrooms, now they're able to compete with this property with five bedrooms because we're limited on the number of guests. So let me ask you a question. If you, the person that's watching right now, you purchase this home to use it as an Airbnb and you receive a letter saying that you can only have six guests, including children and infants, what would be your next step? Really think about it because it depends on where you're executing the investment strategy. Cities and states, they have so much power over you. That's kind of scary. If I didn't have multiple strategies and if I didn't have multiple streams of income, that ordinance alone could have been very detrimental to my entire game plan. You know, you want to be very fluid. You want to have multiple exit strategies and you want to be able to roll with the punches. You should have solutions to different problems and be able to roll with the punches and be able to adapt very fast and be agile and nimble in this space. For our future plans, we're going to build another 1400 square feet of living space here, right? So there's going to be a full two story suite. It's going to have an additional commercial kitchen. It's going to have an additional bedroom. It will have a full gym in the back. There's going to be a lot of development going on as soon as we receive the permit. Right now, we're going through permitting phase. As soon as we receive that, we will update you all on our progress. Comment below if you have ran into any of the issues that's similar to what we're discussing here. And then let us know what solutions you found when you ran into these problems. I'm here as a student as well, and I want to know how you dealt with some of these issues. Please let us know. Comment below and make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification button to our channel. See you guys next time. Oh,